Hey everyone, it's John here from Otagaki back with another video. This video is on the New York Rangers. Now let's go over like seven or eight potential trade targets for this season for the Rangers. Potentially trade deadline or just mid-season or maybe they target a couple of these guys next offseason or at any point over the next year. I think maybe it's the remainder of this year, 2023. I just want to talk about some New York Rangers. Some targets i would say maybe i want to see them target or just maybe some realistic ones so if you're a new subscriber welcome please hit that like button let's get at least 150 likes 200 likes on this video if we can uh, get those likes up please i really do appreciate it drop a comment with your thoughts guys and make sure you have notifications on for videos and streams rangers talk i think for the new york rangers there's a couple big dream targets out there and i'll just start off with the obvious one just the one that everyone's kind of talking about is Patrick Kane whether it's a trade this year and the there's a contract or two going back and the Hawks are able to retain 50% I just don't know if it's realistic uh, I think ideally Patrick Kane as a free agent target next offseason for the New York Rangers would be unbelievable I think reuniting Patrick Kane with Artemi Panarin would not only keep Panarin happy but it would completely just give you the one of the most stacked top sixes in the league if if we talked about a top six of uh, Patrick Kane, Vika Zibnijad, Artemi Panarin, Chris Kreider, Vinny Trocek, and then pick your poison between, I mean, Lafreniere. Like, I think Lafreniere, how he's going to continue to develop, like, that's such a disgusting top six. So, I mean, you kind of see where I'm going with that. I mean, I would think any trade where you're going for a big superstar here, if you're the New York Rangers, a couple contracts would have to go back through the way, along with maybe a Capo Caco. So that's where I also advance to. If you're targeting a JT Miller, is that what the Canucks are asking for? Are they asking for a Capo Caco? So Patrick Kane, a target for the New York Rangers. JT Miller, bringing him back. I, I think a reunion with JT Miller could be really cool. But again, it really depends on contract. I think with the Rangers coming up on even a contract with like long-term extensions with like whether it's Lafreniere or Heedle or whoever it is, I think that's the conversation. Uh, like you don't want to sign a JT Miller going into his 30s to a long-term seven or eight million dollar deal and really make it a hard cap situation. So the JT Miller one's a little less likely in terms of long-term. I think Patrick Kane, if he wanted to be in the New York area, uh, the Rangers are definitely a possibility. Uh, as I said, they would definitely have to give up on like a Caco and then have a contract go back the other way. I mean, Jacob, this is the other thing. Jacob Truba, $8 million contract per year and just named captain. So now it's even less likely he gets traded. Maybe in two or three years he does, but less likely at this very moment. So let's go to maybe more realistic options. I mean, the only other unrealistic option I'd say, which I've seen some people talk about it, I wouldn't necessarily say he's a big time target for the Rangers, but in terms of if it was a fit, I mean, Pierre-Luc Dubois, I've seen Rangers fans tie Dubois to the Rangers and say, yo, you should get this guy. I just don't know about that. I think... If Trocek, like a year from now, if Trocek doesn't work out with the Rangers and you want to send him back in the deal and bring Dubois in as a similar cap hit, maybe. Honestly, maybe. But I want to see how Trocek does with the Rangers here. Uh, the only thing I'd say is like your two top centers are right shot, but then you do have Hedl next up. So uh, if Hedl stays, that they can lock him up. I would also say some more realistic options here. And when you lose guys like an Andrew Kopp and a an Frankie Vetrano, Yes, they were rentals, but they were so good in the playoffs. And I think you want to revisit guys that could have playoff success. And one of those guys being Nick Benino. I think there's going to be a lot of teams targeting a guy like Nick Benino. I've already suggested some other teams, but the Rangers should be one of those teams. They lost Kevin Rooney in free agency, and they lost Cobb. They lost Fratrano, as I said. You could use another guy as an option in the middle. And I could even see Benino playing on the wing if need be. So I think... Nick Benito could be a really good target for the New York Rangers as a third or fourth line guy going into the playoffs. He has proven playoff success. We've seen him with a couple different teams in the playoffs. So I think Benito could be a target. I think going back to the Canucks conversation, I think Niels Hoaglander could be a conversation there for the New York Rangers. The Rangers did really well uh, last year with getting a lot of, out of Vetrano. Obviously, Hoaglander's younger, uh, but I think in some sense, similar type of players. And I think Hoaglander could be a guy that if the Rangers wanted to send someone back the other way I wouldn't give up on Kako yet if I was the Rangers I, I just wouldn't and I don't think they are going to but um, 
We'll see. I feel like the Canucks would be one of those teams to target a Kako, so it definitely wouldn't be a one for one. More stuff, more stuff would come from the Canucks side, but uh, Hoaglander is an interesting one. Uh, Vinny Henestroza with Buffalo. I believe he's a pending UFA. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but Henestroza. I actually really like that fit for a couple playoff contenders. Um, he's just an example of a guy. Like I could probably list other names out there that would be a fit for the New York Rangers in terms of like low risk, low key guys. But Hindustros is one of those really interesting ones where I think he's just so versatile. And I think looking at the New York Rangers roster, I think Hindustrosa would probably be a perfect fit on that third or fourth line uh, going into the playoffs. So if the Rangers are a playoff team, Hindustrosa definitely could be a target. Other names I'll, I'll talk about, guys, in upcoming videos and upcoming live streams. If you're a New York Rangers fan, I hope you join the live streams, especially during the season. Ask me questions. I do want to talk a lot more about the Rangers. I mean, the Rangers, for me, for the last year or two, I really talked about them as just a really exciting team. And seeing them go through that playoff run, uh, it was exciting. Honestly, it was entertaining. I think Shesterkin is going to be one of the best bullies of the next decade. I mean, the fact that the, uh, the Rangers uh, beat the Hurricanes like they did. And uh, I think the Rangers going from Henrik Lundqvist to Igor Shesterkin. Like, I just... It's going to be exciting, man. It's honestly going to be exciting to see. Uh, hopefully, the Rangers, I would say, at least with Lafreniere, be patient. Because I think Lafreniere showed some signs in the playoffs. Even showed signs of getting under the opposing team's skin. And even the stuff with Stamkos. Like, I, I think I'm really excited for Lafreniere still. I, I, I just, I'm not with some of the people out there trying to <laughs> not be patient with Lafreniere. I think Lafreniere is still going to be unreal. So... Uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Give me your thoughts on what you think the Rangers could do in terms of moves, in terms of trades. They don't have much, I would say, flexibility with their cap. I mean, if they wanted to, like, move the 1.7 mil cap hit with Reeves, or if they didn't want to keep the Barkley Goudreau contract, they could somehow move that. Outside of that, like, who are they going to move? I, I mean, they'd have to move value guys to get value back. And, I mean, as I said, Patrick Kane could be a really intriguing target I don't know if it's a trade or free agency, but I just think dream scenario, Patrick Kane reunited with Artemi Panarin and Patrick Kane in that top six with the Rangers. Uh, they'd probably win a cup in the next three or four years. So as I said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next video or stream. Let me know your thoughts on the New York Rangers and let's chat soon.